Good day, it's Philip Swindle with Deknumi Podcast, giving you another video tutorial on how to process your audio once your podcast has been edited into an MP3 file. Today we will be using Audacity and iTunes, and we will be processing a WAV file with Audacity, translating it into an MP3 file in iTunes, and tagging the audio in iTunes as well. And so we're going to open up Audacity. I already have it open. This is the podcast that I did just a couple of weeks ago with Reverend Fred Luter, the president of the Southern Baptist Convention, talking about church revitalization. You saw that in a previous video tutorial. And so today we're going to save this as a WAV file. And then we're going to go into iTunes and make it an MP3 file with all the tags that are necessary for it to be used as a podcast. And I just want to say now there is the option of saving it as an MP3 file here in Audacity. But the lame library is, in my opinion, a little lame. And I'm not the only one. There are a number of other podcasting professionals who absolutely refuse to use the lame library in Audacity to save your file as an MP3. And there's a number of reasons for it. It doesn't save it in as tightly compressed a file. And the audio is a little bit to be desired. And so we're going to do it a little bit longer, a few more extra steps. But it's the best way to do it. And so that's what we're going to do. So we go to File and Export after we've mixed everything down and everything sounds right and all the volumes uh, volume levels are set correctly. Then we do go to file and then export and then we're going to export it as a WAV file. And the way to make sure you have that is go here to format and then WAV and you could have AIFF, you could have you know MP3 like we said earlier. There's a lot of different ways but I use the WAV file because it gives me a better process a better sound and a better file size when we're all finished so we're going to make sure we save it as a file with a file name and I'm putting this on the desktop so you can see it when we get finished so we're saving this and again we need to make sure that our tracks will be mixed down to a single mono channel in the exported file if it does not have this if it says stereo then we need to go back and we need to make one of these audio tracks mono and you know how to do that you go up to tracks and it says stereo track to mono it's grayed out because all of mine are mono so make sure that all of these are in mono all of your tracks all the files that you're using all the audio is already set to mono so that you can have that mono recording and the reason why again we're saving file space so that you don't have to have as large of a serger, server on libsyn or blueberry or wherever you're hosting your your podcast audio you're saving hard drive space and download space as well for your listeners so you want to make sure that you're helping them get to the audio as quickly as possible and so our WAV file has been converted. We're going to quit Audacity. Don't need it anymore. And then we're going to open up iTunes. I already have it open. I have it open to my podcast playlist. So we're going to drag this podcast into the playlist. And now it's in there. And then before we convert it to MP3, we need to make sure that our preferences are set and that we're able to in the general file in the general tab here we want to make sure that our import settings on a cd is set to mp3 encoder the default is to be set for aac we want to use mp3 because we want to convert our audio files to mp3 so that's set correctly and now we can right click on this right here on the file name for the latest episode of the podcast and then we drag down and see where it says create mp3 version and so it's processing this file it's going to make a really good sounding mp3 file 
with as tight a compression, as compact a file size as possible. Now it's complete. I've already saved an alias to where I saved my iTunes media. I've saved that folder as an alias onto my desktop. And so I'm going to go down here and I'm going to find that file. It's probably going to be in the unknown artist folder. And there it is, Fred Luter 1 MP3, right there. So we're going to take it, <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we're going to delete this one. And you'll see why in just a second. This is the WAV file. I'll show you that so you'll see. It says right here, Fred Luter 1 WAV. And so we're going to we're going to delete this file from the playlist and from the library. So delete. Yes, I do want to delete that. And now I want to take this one, Fred Luter MP1 MP3, and I want to put it in here. Yeah, it's a lot of extra work, but I'm telling you, it's the best way to get the best file you possibly can. And so now we've got to import some information. And so we're going to right click on it and go get info. And we're going to go to the info tab. And we have, uh, I have, this is what I do with it. And you can do as you wish. But the reason why I do this is because I learned this from Pat Flynn, who's an awesome podcaster of his own right. And he, this is the pattern that he uses, and I learned it from him. The first thing I do is I change this name to Deck Numi 033. That's the podcast number, Deck Numi 033. And then I'm going to go into the artist, and you'll see that it will auto populate after you've already got this in here. But my artist. My album artist and my composer will all say the same thing. And for me, it's Philip Swindle, Christian, minister, podcaster, discipleship strategist. And then for my album artist, well, you can put the year in there if you want to, 2014. Then for my album artist, I'm going to do the same thing. Philip Swindle, colon, Christian, minister, podcaster discipleship strategist the track is the episode number and then i'm going to go to the album and the album is the deck Numi podcast colon encouraging christians to show god you would obviously put your information in there for grouping or bpm you don't have to worry about it because this is spoken word and then for composer, I'm going to put Philip Swindle, Christian, minister, podcaster, discipleship strategist again. And then in the comments, I put 150 character description of this audio. So I'm going to type interview with SBC. I'm going to put Southern Baptist President Fred Luter on church revitalization and then one more step actually two but one more step on this tab i'm going to change the genre to podcast and then i'm going to go up here to artwork and let me i should have left this on the desktop i'm going to take the artwork that i have 1400 by 1400 as iTunes requires and I'm going to just drag it in there and there it is And so there's my artwork and now I can click OK And then what I do is I, I click on it and just drag it over to the desktop Now look what it's got It has the track number and the file name and then mp3 and it has that icon as its graphic We've got to make one change before we upload it. I, I prefer to do it. I don't need that 33 right there. So I'm going to delete that 33. Well, not that one. <laughs> I'm going to delete this 33. So now it says decknumi033.mp3. And now that that's saved, 
we have to upload it to our server. We'll do that in another episode. So that's how we got that. We saved the file as a WAV file in Audacity and exported it as a WAV file. Then we brought it in to Decknumi. Excuse me. We brought it into the Decknumi podcast playlist on iTunes. We converted it from WAV to MP3, deleted the WAV file, put the MP3 file back in here. Then after tagging it with all the information, we took it to the desktop so that we can export it to our podcast server. So that's how we do that. That's the easiest and best way to do it and least expensive way to do it. And I like least expensive. Audacity is free. iTunes is free. And with iTunes, you have one of the best MP3 encoders in all of the world. So you enjoy Hope this helped you as you continue to improve your podcast on a daily basis. You have a great day and God bless.